Hi, I'm Ressa. Today I'm going to show you how to make a light theremin using Arduino and Wise. Here's what it looks like. Unlike the original theremin, this one uses the amount of light getting into the phototransistor to measure the frequency of outcoming sound. So, how does it work? The data from the phototransistor goes into Arduino. So do the values from our potentiometer input, which is to control the volume. Using the Arduino tool serial port, we pass the data through a MIDI bridge to a MIDI port and then to WISE. To make Arduino work, we have to set up the breadboard. This project is based on the light theremin lesson from the starter pack book, so if you wish, you can easily find the original one online. My version uses no piezo as I have another audio output to connect to and an additional potentiometer to control volume. Here is our setup. We connect 5 volts to plus and minus to the ground. Then we find a potentiometer and connect its first leg to the power, third leg to the ground. Find a phototransistor and connect it in parallel to the potentiometer. Ground the cathode with a 10 kOhm resistor. Then connect the cathode to analog input A1. And the potentiometer second leg to analog input A0. The breadboard is set. First, we need to declare variables to store the data from our inputs. Those are potentiometer value and phototransistor value. Next, we add variables for the maximum and minimum values to calibrate the phototransistor. Declare the output to state that the calibration is done. For calibration itself, I'll just copy this part from the book. In 5 seconds, you need to cover and uncover the sensor using a hand to get the highest and lowest values of light. Then the LED will light up. Open the serial port, mention a pin input the potentiometer is connected to. I divided the value by 6 to work better with my RTPCs, but it's still a bit clumsy, so if you find another value, you are welcome to share it. Constrain this value so it doesn't go beyond the borders of the RTPC. Print the value into the serial port. And do the same for the phototransistor value. Delay every other loop so it wouldn't become chaotic. Well, here is a detail. If you wish every value change to be shown in a new line, put LN at the end of your desired serial output. Compile the sketch, calibrate the sensor, open the serial port, and we get our phototransistor value and potentiometer value. We are all set here. Now, what about WISE? Let's create a new Synth1 instance in the actor mixer hierarchy. Set the base frequency to whichever you want. Go to Game Syncs and create the RTPCs for the volume and pitch. As I've already mentioned, those are my best working values to fit the Arduino data. Add the RTPCs to the Synth1 and make sure they work. Since all the code runs on the Arduino, we need to receive the USB signal from it and convert it into MIDI. For that, we will include MIDI in the sketch and use Herald's MIDI bridge to pass the signal from Arduino to this virtual MIDI bus. So we return to the Arduino sketch and include the MIDI library into it. Type MIDI create default instance, otherwise it wouldn't work. At the end of our sketch, send MIDI control change from both of your controller pins and compile. Run loop MIDI. Run hairless MIDI and connect the serial with the MIDI port. Open WISE, go to Control Surface Devices, make sure loop MIDI is connected, otherwise just edit. Open the Control Surface Bindings window, start a new session, create a binding in the global folder. Press Learn. It won't get the actual input since the bridge is running, so switch it off for now. Go back to WISE and edit the controller assignment. Tap channel 1 CC0 there. It's our potentiometer. Assign the object property simulation value, then specify it by searching for the volume RTPC we created earlier. Copy and paste it. Edit the assignment for the second one so it matches our phototransistor input channel 1 CC1. Specify it by pitch RTPC. Run the bridge and enjoy! Don't forget to run the synth as well.
We can also map our pitch RTPC to some scale and play around. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. It's a part of my robotic orchestra project, so if you are interested in more tutorials, please check out my channel, my Twitter and Instagram, and see you. Bye-bye.